Okay, let's um, let's pray. Okay. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day, Lord. We thank you that, um, Lord, uh, you're leading, you're guiding. Father God is so, um, it's so practical. Lord, it's, um, even though, Lord, we know that the word, word declares that you are spirit, but you lead us in ways that we can understand that are tangible, God. You speak to us in our spirit, and you also, Lord, do so in very tangible ways, Father God. We thank you. We thank you for your wisdom that you've made available for us. We thank you for Lord, the knowledge and understanding that you made available for us, God. Lord, and above all, we just want to thank you, Father God, for the uh, for the capacity that you've given each one of us to think and reason and, uh, Lord, um, and to use our minds and intellect, Father God, and creativity and imagination, Lord. And we know that this also comes from you, Father God. But, Lord, we pray that uh, it will be in the, used in the right way, right manner, Lord, that over and above everything, that we will continue to lean on you, Father God, and not in our own understanding, Master. And even as we commit, Lord, all our works to you, Father God, Lord, we ask that you will establish our thoughts. And, uh, and Lord, I pray that you would uh, firmly establish the actions, Lord, that follow every thought and every decision of ours, God. We thank you. In Jesus' master's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so life skills, we are looking at chapter 3, right, uh, about personal planning. Now, I understand that uh, some of these things are, you know, uh, if if you've been following the, uh, or if you've been um, doing the course on leadership, if you've done the course on uh, Christian leadership, we know that some of these things were addressed there, right? So it could be a repetition, uh, especially about time management and planning and so on. But uh, yeah, it'll be a reminder for us. So let's, uh, let's take a look at it, right? So uh, we're in chapter three, personal planning. So, just wanted to ask. Um, this is um, this is not just planning in general, but planning for our personal development, right? When we want to develop ourselves and uh, and improve ourselves and be better um, than how we are right now, which requires some planning. Okay. So, so I just want to ask a basic question, right? Is it okay to plan or not okay to plan? It's okay to plan. Uh, but it seems so unspiritual to plan, right? Rather than flow in the spirit. <laughs> what do you think? So, uh, Francis, you lead to worship. So, is it okay to plan for a worship set or just uh, you need to go and without any songs, without any plan in mind, just flow? What do you think? <laughs> do both. Yeah. So, the thing is to, so planning is not unspiritual in any way right for example if you look at uh, psalm 33 and verse 11 um uh, let's just read that verse psalm 33 okay verse um, verse 11 right? it says the counsel of the lord stands forever the plans of his heart to all generations right? the counsel of the lord stands forever the counsel, the plans of his heart to all generations. So we see that uh, God himself, in whose image we are created, God himself plans, right, the plans of his heart. So there is a, a forethought, there is a planning that goes, um, and, uh, and so there is, it is nothing unspiritual when it comes to planning, right? It can be, it can become a fleshly exercise, right? When that, when can it become a fleshly exercise? When we don't involve or factor in the leading of the Holy Spirit, right? Then it can become, uh, uh, you know, a fleshly exercise where we have kept God out of it, right? And it is, it just revolves around ourself, right? So the thing is, yes, it is, it is good to plan, and it is necessary to plan, right? And um, all of us do plan, right? Um, and without planning, it is going to be extremely difficult to achieve or accomplish 
anything that we set our hearts to set our minds on right without planning yeah yes there are certain times then yes you know things come our way there are certain opportunities that are presented that the favor of god opens certain doors and you know we find ourselves in certain places and doing certain things and accomplishing certain things right but if we don't plan ahead we are going it's going to be difficult for us to achieve anything why why is it um so yeah just look at the online class also yeah so why 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 do why is it you know just consider that statement if i don't plan it's going to be difficult not impossible but difficult to achieve something and also the the degree to which i want that success right it's going to be difficult why yeah um, because without planning we will not able to do what all things are required and plan before like i had to achieve this i mean to achieve this i need to do all these things in hand and the timings and lot of things involved mm. then just doing it randomly mm. yeah see um uh, yeah thanks so the thing is that without planning yes you can we can do certain things right we can do uh, or at a certain level of effectiveness we can right and we do that when so so suddenly you know we are supposed to do some things and then you know uh, suddenly maybe guests show up or you know there are moments in life when that happens but when we plan what are we doing we are actually preparing we are preparing ahead we are allocating resources meaning you know whether it's money whether it's time whether it's uh, you know things that need to be done we are also making sure that we can put in focused effort and focused effort so preparation resources effort everything comes together um and we are able to do this you know with all this combined together so the effectiveness of it of it is much better right when we think through when we think ahead and when when we can do this okay uh, and we are also able to get into the details of certain things right but more, more most importantly i feel that you know we we get a picture of what we are or what we want to achieve right because that planning forces you to ask answer that question why am i planning this for right because there is an objective right if you're planning for a particular meeting there is an objective okay this is want to what i want to achieve if you're planning for a particular event there is an objective okay this is what i need to reach at the end of this event right so the objective of it or the end result of it is brought to greater focus when we plan right of course planning is just one part of it the most important thing is carrying out the plan right implementation working out the plan which is the harder part right so just wanted to say that um, if we need to a uh, plan for ourselves right many times we we are uncomfortable about planning for ourselves because we think of that words about selfish ambition right which that we should not indulge in selfish ambition so this planning seems to be very ambitious this when we plan for ourselves i mean you know when we plan for ourselves it seems to be very ambitious it seems to be sometimes uh, you know we are assuming a lot of things and so we we pull away from planning and also now let's face it planning requires effort right it requires effort it requires time it requires some thought and thinking right and sometimes we are not ready for it or maybe we feel weary in our minds just thinking about the task we just say okay not today <laughs> you know i don't want to get into this because it makes you tired right but with this reality you know knowing that okay it's going to take time knowing that it is going to require some effort it's going to require some brain work some thinking right some thinking involved we need to with that reality we need to get into a plan okay right okay so, so if you're going to have a personal plan why why do we say personal plan it's it's for you as an individual you know so 
what are some things that we need to keep in mind? Okay, one is a clear vision of where we want to go, what we want to achieve. Okay, so some of these things can make us comfortable or uncomfortable. Sorry, where do you see yourself five years from now? Okay, or things like what do you want to be five years from now? Or what are some things that you want to achieve five years from now? Just think about it, right? So it's uh, it's it seems like a it seems like a difficult thing where people don't want to think about the future, right? I'm thinking about the present. I'm thinking about how I want to get through my day, get through this week, and I don't want to think ahead, right? Sometimes because of failed effort in the past we don't want to think like i know of people who say you know it doesn't work for me that way i cannot plan it doesn't work for me i've tried it it does not work so i don't want to plan or i've tried you know i had big plans but i was disappointed i have a lot of regrets therefore i don't want to plan now these are these are reasons right we give for not planning and these are some of some of these reasons are valid yes this is a personal experience that maybe some of us have gone through. But then, when we consider the, uh, the, the fruitfulness of planning, when we consider the fact that God, our Father Himself, is a God of plan and purpose, right? and we know that He's a God of order, He's a God of time, you know, He's a God of Kronos and Kairos, right? so it's, it is good for us to think and plan. Okay? So, a clear vision. Where do we want to be? Now, again, I just want to say that include God in your planning. Include the Lord in your planning. Right? Include the Holy Spirit, the prompting, the leading of the Holy Spirit. And, and the thing is that His plans, His thoughts for us are far greater, are far higher. Right? It's, it's more than... Because Ephesians... Uh, is it Ephesians 3 and verse 20? Right? It says that He is able... He is able to do exceedingly, yeah, finish that verse, exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask, above all that we think, right? According to the power that works in us, which is the Holy Spirit power, right? So it's, it's good for us to lean into God and not in our own understanding, lean you know, to the wisdom of the Holy Spirit, the, because He knows the end from the beginning. And he's able to do, right? He's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask, above all that we think, right? So um, we need to have a clear vision. And it's, it's important. And we may not arrive at it in one sitting. You know, we say, okay, I'm going to fast and pray for half a day. And I'm going to come out by the time I finish. I'm going to have a very clear picture. Uh, yeah, it could happen. It may not happen. Because God will give us one piece of it, and He could give us, you know, as we journey along, He could give us several pieces of it, right? Which which forms a clear picture. So, so that's the thing, um, to for us to have a clear vision, because the vision answers the why you want to do. Uh, it's very important. Okay. It's also good to have an understanding of what skills are required in order to achieve that vision. Right? So you're saying that, okay, I want to become the president. Okay. So it's a good thing, right? You want to serve the nation, you want to do it, but what is this? What is the pathway that is required? Right? What are the steps that are required? What are the skills, meaning what are the abilities that are required? We need to know, right? Because if you want to be there, you want to achieve that, we need to have skills. We need to have these abilities in us. Right? And you know, when we talk about ministry, when you're saying, okay, I want to be pastoring, you know, I want to be reaching out, I want to be an evangelist, I want to be pastoring, I want to be you know, whatever, you know, ministry or work or profession, whatever it is. Now we have a picture. Okay, this is what I want to be. This is what I want to be doing. Right? Maybe you're saying, well, I want to be able to reach out to many people, I want to be able to share the gospel with many people. Um, well, it, it requires for us to be a certain kind of person with the certain abilities 
and strengths. So the thing is this, to ask ourselves, you know, what do I need to do now? Right? What do I need to, need to do now? What do I need to develop now uh, in me so that I can be that person? I can be that, I can be ministering in that way five years from now. Right? It's a very important question to ask. And, and to also discover and consider, explore and see, okay, what are those things? I don't see those things. Maybe we see that, okay, uh, actually right now, I'm not able to analyze certain things. I'm not able to even think big. So what, what does that mean? That means that I need to actually address that issue. Right? I'm not able to dream big. I'm not able to, you know, I, for me to have, uh, to be a leader of that caliber, to be, uh, you know, leading a ministry, I need to have, I need to be a person of big vision but right now it's not there or you sometimes you might say okay i want to start to start something but there's also always a fear there's always a fear about my own ability there's always a fear about you know maybe resources there's always a fear which pulls me back right so so what is it that means that those things need to be addressed right those strengths need to be built so when does it start it starts now Right? So you have an understanding, a clear vision, and again, an understanding of abilities and skills that need to be developed. Okay, So you're saying, okay, God, I, I feel that stirring that God is calling me to be a, you know, a, a prophet, and God is calling me to prophesy. Well, what about the you know, moving in that gift? What is actually hindering, stopping from moving in that gifting? Right? Similarly, maybe God is calling you to be a writer, you know, to write blogs and articles and books and whatever what not you know but the thing is okay what is that ability that is required okay maybe we, we can say you know writing ability it comes to me naturally right i can write but there's something else that is required that is endurance perseverance and things like you know uh, maybe a timeliness like punctuality and you feel that okay I have the writing ability, but all these other things are not there. And that is actually hindering, right? So that is a skill. Right? That's an ability that I need to develop. Uh, maybe it's a character trait that I need to develop, right? Okay. Then the third thing is um, the standard that I need to achieve. Standard meaning a standard of excellence, the the intensity of the job, of the task, the... the uh, um, the measure of what level is it that is required, right? Suppose you're saying, okay, I want to be a professional musician, right? I want to put good, excellent content on, let's say, on the web, on the channel, or I want to be able to, you know, put some good uh, worship music that is, that goes global, that is able to reach a lot of people so what standard of excellence is required you know that's something it's not just the skill but what is the excellence of that skill right what is the uh, what is the intensity of it uh, and so on right so what's so what level am i in your skill can be we can be in different levels right if it's going to be just for you know people around in my community or is it going to be a national level or is it going to be uh, uh, in a global level. So we know that there are differing standards, right? So what is it? You Do, you, do we have an understanding of it has to be at that standard in order to be able to reach, in order for, you know, for people to actually receive it, right? So that also we need to understand. And for each of this, uh, priorities, maybe you've, maybe you've listed down various areas and say, okay, these are 10 things that I need to work on. Obviously, we cannot work on all this at once. Right? We have only 24 hours, out of which we have only certain hours, maybe 15, you know, 15 to 16 waking hours, or maybe even maybe sometimes more. But even in that, there are certain responsibilities and things that we need to carry out. So if I have these things, what is it that I can prioritize now? Right? Maybe it's a language skill that I need to, you know, prioritize and say, okay, I want to attack this now. 
right? I want to address this now. So that becomes a priority, area of priority. Okay? So that is something that we can do. Okay, you say, I want to do this now before the end of this year because this is very necessary. Maybe at a later time I can I can do that. I can carry out other things. Right? So in your own mind, or maybe we can get help from people and say, okay, what is it that I need to prioritize right now? Okay, because if I don't get build that strength, then all the other things cannot be built. Right? Let's say, um, you know, simple things like uh, maybe even a language skill. You know, I'm saying, okay, I, I need to learn something, a higher concept, a deeper concept. You know, uh, like maybe a maybe a postgraduate level of certain area of study. So you know that that would require an ac academic uh, standard of the language, right? To understand the concepts and to express, etc. So the, the priority would be to build strength in that area of a language, to understand it, to be able to express, so, so that we can build on the other things, like right? the knowledge area can come in uh, secondary. So, so things like that, right? Okay, um, and a detailed idea of how to get, you know, have a pathway. Okay, how to get there? Okay, now I've done this. Okay, I've identified this is these are areas that I need to develop. These are skills that I need to put in. So, how am I going to get there? Okay, so we need to break it down to what am I going to do daily? What am I going to do weekly? What am I going to do monthly? Right. What is it that I need to do daily? What is it that I need to do weekly? And what are some things that I need to do at a, you know, maybe at one monthly or once in two months or like that? What is it that I need to do? So what are we doing in our planning? We are actually breaking it down to details. We're saying, okay, this is what, this is something that I need to do, right? And again, uh, look at it that it's a, uh, it's a continuous thing and we take it one step at a time, right? It becomes, um, when you consider the bigness of the task, it seems very intimidating. It seems very overwhelming, right? And But if you look at it and say, okay, I'm going to make it part of my lifestyle. Okay, what is it that I can do daily? What is it that I can do weekly? What is it that I can do monthly? And then go after it over and over again. You know, if I make it part of my lifestyle, then, it is something that is continuous. It is something that it is, you know, it's happening over a period of time, and uh, we need to have such a plan, right? So it's good for us to plan, have a personal plan, personal development plan. Okay. So with that in mind, you know, let's look at the next one, which is personal goal setting. Okay. So this plan is going to have, uh, which is I was looking at chapter four. Actually, it's connected. So it's going to have. Uh, certain goals, right? Um, so we, we need to think about that. What are certain goals that these plans will actually achieve? Okay, this plan will. And here are some areas that we can look at. Okay, in terms of academics. Okay, in terms of academics meaning studies, right? In terms of career or ministry. Okay, in terms of finances, right? Um, in terms of uh, helping others, you know, some maybe generosity and uh, tied to finances, right? Uh, so s similar goals, you know, what about our family? What about, you know, uh, members in the family? What are some things that we want to see? What are the things that we want to do? Maybe it's about your health, right? So these are several areas or several goals that we can keep in mind. Okay. So, um, just one second. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, just looking at the chat, right? Okay, so when it comes to goals, I'm, I'm sure you all of us have gone through this. It is important that we have smart goals, right? The acronym SMART it means um, each each letter is is going to talk about something, right? The goal can be goal needs to be specific. It can't be very general. That goal needs to be specific. Suppose you want to, you're saying, okay, I want to be healthy. Now that's a very general goal. Right, it's it needs to be specific. So, so how how can we make it specific? What do you think? 
like they let's say for example you're saying okay my goal is i want to be healthy okay so how can you make it specific you're using those words right s m a r t smart so s stands for specific so this is your goal you want to be healthy so how can you make it specific sorry what one workout consists that also is general okay consistently consistently is general right it's in the sense it means like does it mean once a month does it mean once a week so how can you make it even more specific yeah francis go ahead <laughs> personal testimony go <laughs> So how can I make it specific? I'm going to set a goal that I'm going to eat only uh, three or four times. This is my specific food. Mm -hmm. I'm going to target only these areas of food, and I'm going to do my exercise daily. I want to do I mean, yeah. every day different. <clears throat> exactly. So this is these are the specifics. You're saying okay, this is what I'm going to eat, or at least, or it should it can even be this is what I'm not going to eat. Right? You could say. I'm going off sugar. I'm not going to add sugar. Okay, uh, no sugar in anything. I'm going off sugar. Or you can say, you know, I'm not going to eat rice in dinner or whatever. Just these are things that I'm coming, you know, coming to my mind. So you make it specific, right? It has to be. It can't be general as I'm. I'm going to be healthy. What contributes to? healthy what does it mean to be healthy so specific and it can be about waking up at a certain time it can be about having so much so many hours of sleep right because that also affects your health it can be about exercise what is it you know it's good to say okay i'm going to exercise right but what exercise where how how often right so it needs to be specific second one it needs to be measurable right which means that how will you know that you are actually doing it right it needs to be measurable you need to be able to measure right suppose you're saying okay i'm um i'm you know i'm eating right how will you know unless you keep track right unless you keep track and say okay this is what i'm eating or so many calories is what i'm going to eat any other goal i'm sorry i talked about health and the thing but anything else like maybe spiritually speaking okay uh, let's say you're saying that okay i i want to grow in the knowledge of the word i want to increase uh, in the knowledge of the word understanding of the word so it has to be measurable right so you're saying okay i want to read so many books or i want to finish so many books in the bible right i want to do a study so you're breaking it down and saying okay today i'm going to read so many chapters i'm going to do a in depth study of these chapters with a commentary so that is that becomes measurable when you track it track it meaning you know you're actually keeping a record of what you're reading and you're just ticking off okay so there are several tools to help again you know where you have these just like how we said you know there, there's a to do list there are you know um, like a google task or something this will help us actually to because our mind can only handle so much information right or a simple notebook and pen and paper is also fine right the third one we are looking at the word smart the third one is that it should be attainable okay so otherwise you know it it can be a stretch you know it can be a difficult a task or a difficult goal but at the end of the day yeah yeah shivak sure, maharaj see weekly five days okay and also it's good to you know um it good to focus what time every day right what time every day and how you know is it going to be half an hour is it going to be 45 minutes is it going to be one hour so that will you know that will make it specific right um otherwise we can actually lose track right so okay so attainable it has to be something that is achievable it can't be something that um you know that is you know that is way beyond the level where we are right now it has to be attainable because if it's not attainable we will easily lose interest right let's say over and over again you know you're not able to 
you know you say this today i'm going to be off sugar for the next one, 30 days off sugar okay and then i mean it's it's actually easily attainable but then you know you end up eating some sweet some coffee with this thing and then you you know it should be something attainable maybe you say okay oh, today i'm going off sugar maybe it has to start like that right today i will be off sugar or today i will be off this right so uh, it has to be attainable okay make your goals relevant right in the sense let it be something connected to what you achieve in what you want to achieve in life let it be part of a big picture picture so that will also inspire and motivate us right so if it's part of your calling in life it's if it's part of something that's that's your you know that's your passion in life right then it becomes relevant to us if it is totally disconnected right okay maybe you are you're preparing for ministry and you're saying okay in my i want to be i want to learn physics right something like that you know it's it's a good thing but you're saying okay i want to i want to master quantum physics i want to do a course in quantum physics now it's a good thing again but is it relevant to what you're doing in life right if there is some connection if there's if there's some relevancy to the big picture of what you want to do then it's going to really help right in terms of motivation in motiva motivation in terms of you know uh, general inspiration everything so make it relevant right and the, this is the important thing you know time okay so many times we have goals but we don't set a time okay by when do you want to achieve it right by when do you want to achieve it by when do you want to review it okay so that's that's a deadline right you're saying okay i want to review this i want to see the progress at at the end of this month or end of this week or end of every day right you need to set a time for the achieving of the goal and we can actually set times to review right um so so this will this is this will help us bring focus okay i remember when you when i was working i think i shared this working for this organization and uh, i was in sales and so we we used to have every day there was a deadline right every day literally in the morning we have to you know we we used to review it and say okay this is what we need to achieve by the end of this working day right that's how we started the day by end of this working day this needs to be achieved okay and the next day there will be a review did you achieve what you set out to you know achieve the previous day okay so it was a very high pressure environment right because your work and everything you continuing in the organization everything dependent on that so it was very high pressure but then it gave a lot of focus where you can actually put in efforts right okay so um see some of the goals that we that we do you know typically like a new year resolution everything you know we 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 start off we have these goals good ones and then only this in this the next year next year, new year is when we actually think about it oh actually yeah i i said like that you know i did that and then uh, and then one year has gone by 360 days have gone by and then we are coming back to our you know the same maybe it's the same new new year resolution maybe even more difficult we set it right so it is it will help if we review it you know, if you review it monthly if you review it uh, you know once in three months just to see am i making progress right uh, towards the goal if not what do i need to change right uh, towards this goal what do i need to change right if it's uh, you know i'm hey i'm not growing spiritually i need to do something i right? too many activities too many things and i feel that i'm not spending time with the lord uh, i'm not doing this one on one i'm doing a lot of group things you know i'm just you know, going there here everywhere and you know organizing this and that and all that with the bunch of students or with my classmates but then uh, you know personally i feel that i'm not spending enough time okay suddenly you 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 review that and we need to review and reflect only then will we know otherwise time will go by right so we can make changes okay i need to 
spend this time now. I need to start cutting off certain things so that I can actually spend this time. Okay. So our goals, it needs to motivate us. Okay. It needs to excite us. You know, pick such goals. Goals that which stretch us, which need to excite us, which need to motivate us. Okay. Okay. So why don't we write down some some goals? Okay. Let's start by looking at. Uh, okay. I want to ask you to share. So it's fine, right? So you look at it. You know, five years from now, let's look at the big picture. Five years from now. Okay. Today is twenty twenty four. We are looking at maybe um, yeah September of twenty twenty nine. Okay, five years from now, is it? Yeah, five years. This is what I want to be, or this is what I want to see in my life. Okay, um, so we make it personal. Okay, this is this is what I want to achieve. It can be anything, right? This is what I want to. Achieve. It can be a life goal. It can be an academic goal. It can be a you know ministry related goal. It can be a family related goal. It can be a finance related goal. Anything. Right? So you, you, you think through, and just involve God in it. And I say, Lord, you speak to me. Right? Even as I think about this, you you guide my thoughts. Right? Um, this is what I want to see myself, um, and this is what I want to achieve. No, the thing is, who we become is related to what we actually do, what we achieve. So it's very, I mean, it is important that who we become. Is also part of this, right? I want to be such a person, and therefore I can achieve these things in life, right? So, so yeah, take some time to do that. Let's take maybe a five minutes or so to do that, right? And online students also, you know, just take some time. Um, it can be about your health, it can be about your, you know, character, what you, you know, whatever it is. Just take some time, and uh, yeah, just lean on the Holy Spirit, right? Just draw from his leading prompting and put it down. And think big. Ephesians 3.20, he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Right. So think big. So you put it down, write it down, or uh, you know, put it on your phone, whatever. But it's good to see that uh, right before your eyes. You know, it'll, it'll be helpful. Yeah.
done some part of it at least yeah okay so now okay we're looking at five years so so what is it, what is it that you need to do in the first year the second year the third year fourth year okay just think about that and immediately right right from now from now till um, maybe the end of uh, 2000 uh, sorry uh, by 2025 right we said 2029 but then by 2025 september what is it from now till 2025 september what is it that what are those three things that you need to do you know towards achieving that okay just write that down just three things now maybe if it's even one thing that you need to do uh, what is it that you need to do towards achieving that right for the next one year right what is it just write that down if this if you have some clarity uh, put that down so we're talking about 12 months right so end of 12 months what is it that you need to become or what is it that you need to achieve towards that so we're breaking it down <clears throat> Right? So we are doing it, um, it's a general thing, right? Uh, we are talking generally because each of you might have some specifics in mind, right? Uh, various things, right? It could be ministry, you know, with regard to marriage, with regard to, um, I don't know, personal, you know, growth and maybe health, whatever. It could be across these areas. So, you know, okay, so what is it <clears throat> that you need to see yourself in the one year okay okay now you go a little deeper and say what is it that you need to do consistently every month in the next one year right what is it that you need to do consistently every month maybe it could be three things it could be but you know that okay this is something that i need to do and be specific about it right <clears throat> sorry uh, be specific okay just think about it if it's something general just think deeply and say, okay, yeah, I know it's, it seems very vague in general. Okay, I need to grow. That seems very vague. Or I need to be edified. <laughs> uh, you know, it seems very vague. But what is it specifically that every month that you need to see or that you need to do? Right? Every month, every calendar month, we're talking about 30 days, right? There's a long period of time. What is it that you need to be doing? Sorry, um, I was muted. So maybe later on you can even break it down to, okay, what is it that I need to do weekly? What is it that I need to do daily? Okay, But this is the big picture, five years down the line. This is what I want to be. And this year, it's going to take all this. Okay, I break it down to daily practice, weekly. And so that will, you know, it will it'll lead to what we need to do. Okay. Now, this is a good practice a, a essential skill in whatever we want to do right whatever god has called us to do you know let me put it that way what we feel that the lord what we sense that the lord has called us to do okay maybe in ministry okay maybe you're leading a church right yeah you're thinking about it and then say okay god by the end of five years i want to our church to look like this i want our church to be a church where there are leaders. I want a church to be like, maybe like the efficient church, or you know, I want church to be where there are ministry leaders who are raising up, 
raised up people who are going out and doing the work of ministry you know where there are more people who are getting saved and there are people who are reaching out to other people and sharing the gospel right now they are not there right right now they are so dependent they right now they are not you know i want our church to grow to be that level in 5 years okay so what do i need to do now you know in the next one year so it you maybe various things come to your mind you know the kind of topics that you want to the kind of truth that you want to build in that in the body of believers right starting from you know maybe things what you've learned you know like identity and purpose so that they are you know they look at the word of god and get a revelation okay god wants me to be like this god this is how god sees me right i have a plan i have a purpose beyond my you know my everyday work that i do at home or you know i have a plan and purpose so I begin to pray and maybe every believer you know we want them to be strong in the word strong in the spirit right you want them to let go of certain strongholds or deal with strongholds addictions etc right so what are the kind of what is the kind of ministry what is the kind of ministry of the word and spirit that you're going to bring in you know sunday after sunday so the next one year if you see you know there are maybe 52 sundays and then there are maybe there are other services midweek things so what is it in all these specific opportunities to minister to to the people to the gathering what is it that you're going to bring so you can plan that right um you know in a, in a month there are four or five sundays what is it that you want to address first three months what is it that you want to address second three months so when we get into the details of it you know it's not just a you know a profession or business or thing but it's in ministry as well where we are able to review we are able to see progress we are able to track progress right and we are and and then we are moving towards the achieving of the goal or the big picture that god has put in our hearts you know we didn't just cook it up ourselves but god has been leading and the holy spirit is prompting to do this right okay so it's a good exercise it's a good thing um for a good skill for us to uh, have consistently in our lives right okay so we'll stop here and continue next class thank you god bless